it's about time. What's going on? Yo. Yo. Rumor Report. Rumor Report. This is the Rumor Report. Talk to him. With Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. Well, Jillian Michaels had made some comments about Lizzo and about her appearance. Here's what she had to say originally. I love celebrities like Lizzo or Ashley Graham who are really preaching self-acceptance. I and love her music, yeah, 100%. Well, I don't know anything about her. I'm sure she's a cool, awesome chick. Yeah, and I love that they're putting images out there that we normally don't get to see of bodies that we don't get to see being celebrated. And um, why are we celebrating her body? Why does it matter? That's what I'm saying. Like, why aren't we celebrating her music? Because it isn't going to be awesome if she gets diabetes. Well, I want to ask I, you... I, I, just being honest, like... I love her music, but there's never a moment where I'm like, and I'm so glad that she's uh, uh, overweight. Well, Jillian Michaels is a celebrity trainer, and she was on BuzzFeed News AM to DM, and those were her comments. Well, she has doubled down on those comments. Um, since then, here's what she had to say about the backlash. I'm a health expert. For decades, I have said repeatedly that your weight and your size have no bearing or merit on your value, your beauty, your worth, your ability. Where it does have relevance is your health. Of course. And to pretend that it doesn't is not only irresponsible, it's dangerous, and it's just not a lie I'm willing to tell because it's politically correct, man. My overall point is that um, take care of your health because you love yourself. Obesity is the number one contributor to diabetes, heart disease, cancer. She's not wrong. Yeah, what's wrong with what why, she said? Why, 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 why are we acting like she's wrong? She's a trainer and a health expert. What, well, like, why are people mad? Actress Jamila Jamil, who's a body neutrality activist, tweeted out just saying, my whole damn thin family has diabetes and high cholesterol and problems with our joints. Why is this woman acting like she's an MRI? Stop concern trolling fat people and get in the bin. But they were talking about Lizzo, not, her fam- not, not, not the other woman's family, though. I'm, I'm just talking about the second statement she made. I mean, obesity is the number one cause of a lot of those things. So why are you I just upset with her she for telling the truth? Specifically talking about Lizzo and commenting on her body and her health without knowing anything about her. Also, but here's how Lizzo responded. If my name is in your mouth, so is my <laughs> bitch. Enjoy the flavor. <laughs> All right. Listen, uh, and, 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 and we shouldn't celebrate anybody for their body, right? It should be about the talent. Isn't celebrating somebody for their body objectifying them in a way? I think that a lot of people have negative things to say and comments about people who, if you look at them, you look at them and say, oh, this person's overweight, oh, do this, go to the gym, and people are always shaming Well, let's shaming take it out people. of the overweight That's people. why they call it fat shaming. So the whole point is let's stop commenting well, on- Well, listen to what she said. She said we're celebrating, we shouldn't celebrate people for their body. Bodies. That's, the, that's just right. like saying Nikki's only popular because she got that a fat That would be fine ass. if she and just- B- Bill O'Reilly used to do that about Beyonce. Beyonce's only popular because she got a nice body. Like, no. But no, that would be okay she if talent. she stopped. I guess it would be okay if she stopped there. But then she started talking about her health without knowing anything about whether or not she has health issues and all of that. So that's that's what see that's what this world really bothers me right now, mm-hmm. right? Let's be honest. If people are overweight or they need work or they need to get healthy, we should say it. We shouldn't wait till they're uh, dead to say it. Yeah. Just like you know, but if, you know, just... if I'm overweight, right, and 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 I'm not fat, but if I'm a little, I have to have some pounds on me, and somebody says, "Yo, E, you gaining some weight? Give it in the gym." I'm not gonna be like, "Oh my gosh, you hurt my feelings." No, I'm gonna get my ass in the gym because they're trying to look out for me. Would you prefer that to be somebody who knows you or I don't a care who it is? Doesn't matter. I don't you. care when people, but people say. Have di- but p- some people don't appreciate that. Obesity. Some people don't really appreciate you commenting on their body, and you also don't know what's going on. In somebody's life. You don't know if they're on some type of medication that's making them gain weight. You have no idea what's happening. True, you don't know what? if they've already, you don't know. So you that can't really true. comment on somebody else's situation without knowing what that situation I can, is. I can, I can cast a wide net and say obesity is a leading preventable cause of death worldwide. I can say that. You can say that, but I think I just think in this situation, the whole point of what Lizzo's doing is that people always have negative Lizzo, things though. to say. But this is about Lizzo, though. But what I'm saying is, what she's been trying to do is just have some positivity because a lot of times people are, uh, it's hard for them to actually celebrate themselves when so many people are saying negative things so about you. So nobody should what? tell the overall truth just because people who think it's specific If somebody to is overweight around me, I'm going to tell them because I want them to get healthy and I want them to live a long time. And, yes. if, and if I get overweight or I do something unhealthy, I want somebody to tell me too. I don't care if it hurts my feelings. My wife tell me, yo, this, that, and the other. And I know it but might hurt your, your feelings. It doesn't matter who it is. People do it on Instagram all day. And I could be there and be mad about it and be embarrassed, but I'm like, you know what? That's They're right. right. I, don't I need want, to lose some goddamn weight. I don't weight. want Envy to die of brain cancer. That's why I bring up trap toupees all the time. But that's <sighs> just not for Envy. Oh that's gosh. for every guy out there who has a trap toupee. Well, okay? I guess... I guess what Lizzo's trying to do is spread some positivity Mm-mm-mm. and some positive messages. That's all she's trying well, to I do. Well, I love Lizzo. Shout out to Lizzo. And let's so let's cl- just leave it at that. That's, and let's also be clear. The doctor going to end up telling you all this stuff anyway. 
That's all it's going to boil down to. Regardless and hopefully it's are. not too late. All right, right, I didn't even get to tell y'all who could have been on Rihanna's album, so we'll have to get to that in the next rumors. I'm Angela Yee, and that's your rumor report. 